Hi, everybody. And a good morning, Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Week 5 of the slow decline into, well, who knows what. Uh, so this video, we are working on mostly wiring and the circuit panel. Uh, what can I say? The electronics makes me really nervous. And because of that, I just continuously tweak this thing over and over and over again. Uh, so anyway, in the last video you saw me hooking up one of the control sticks, so I'd finally gotten around to making a final decision about uh, the connector, right? So I, in the beginning I'd tried D sub pins, you know, much like the connectors that Garmin uses. <clears throat> then I tried some really micro Molex stuff uh, that was very small, and it was so small that I couldn't even crimp the connectors. Like these things, they were just, they were too frail, so that was out. Um, I have settled on 0 .062 inch Molex. And it works great, right? Works fantastic, which is good. Okay, outside of that, though, um, let's see, I think we'll do the, yeah, we're going to do those connectors. So those are fine, and it's just two 9 pins, right? There's 10 wires in each one of those controllers. Uh, nine of the pins wind up going back into the panel area. Uh, eight of them actually wind up going into the uh, GAD27 electronic controller. Uh, one of them is the ground, so that one has to miss the controller, and that actually has to go back. Hmm. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, couldn't I just splice that ground into the controller box's ground? I could just do that. Then I wouldn't have to run it all the way over to the ground. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 no. Everything gets its own dedicated ground. Sorry, no, no, okay, just an idea. Uh, okay, so back to the circuit breaker panel. Uh, you know what? Let me just show you a picture of the front plate here. Okay. So, looking at this, so let's look at this together, right? I got six rows, and I know my handwriting is chicken scratch. So the first two top rows, those are all of the essential bus, right? And I've talked about this before with my bus manager and the essential bus. That's the essential bus, right? So ignition, ECUs, alternator field, the electronic uh, fuel injector, and the EFII controller, that's at the top, right? And you got one of the EFISs, which is the uh, you know uh, G3X display, because it pulls no power. Uh, the AHAR is magnetometer, GAD27, and the GAD24, right? So that second row... Right, that whole thing only pulls about three amps, tops. Right, and the essential bus can handle up to 30 amps. So, yeah, I'm I'm pretty secure. So that essential bus will always have 12 volts. Doesn't matter what we do. All right, moving down. Uh, that third row, that's the actual avionics. Right, so that'll have its own dedicated switch. Right, that's the comms, nav, autopilot, and the GAD29, which is for the GNX375. Right, that'll be its own little switch. And then everything below that, that's the main bus. Uh, the second display... Uh, I, okay, I know one says autopilot. Sorry, that one in the third row is audio panel, not autopilot. My bad. So audio, uh, autopilot, which is actually the autopilot controller, and... Uh, one? No, two of the servos. So yeah, that autopilot breaker actually controls the controller and two of the servos. Uh, then you got the you got your... Uh, trim motors and then your yaw servo which is separate now it's not a yaw trim it's a yaw servo right there's a difference uh, then below that we got the G5 um, RF that would be the RF oh yeah yeah so that <laughs> that's the RF controlled thing that's uh, you know that's the pimp lights and everything else uh, starter USB and flaps and then of course you can see at the bottom those are the, the two fuel pumps those fuel pumps are technically connected to the essential bus but that's for a later date. All right, so back here, you can see me. I'm uh, actually clicking up the arms because we're finally going to get to work on this thing. So in the next video, uh, we will actually be riveting up these arms onto the canopy. So I'm just going to let this one trail on out. Uh, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you soon.